Welcome back. In part one, we created the stage elements for our material to be applied to. In this second part, we'll be creating the custom material that goes onto it. First, we have to open up our materials editor. And we will be using the standard material that comes in here, which is as standard, a basic, which is also the default, sorry. First thing we need to do is apply it to the object. We notice it's now lost its initial color and is now gray, which is the color of the material. First thing we need to do is set up our colors. We unlock these attributes and we give them individual colors. Now I already made this before so I'll be using predefined colors and I'll be trying to do it as quickly as I can so if you follow along right in these little boxes here are basically the shortcuts if I come out to the same items here if I bring this down, defuse will be here in the defuse section here. Specular is just underneath it. Opacity is over here. And then self illumination is just over here. So these are basically, all of these have their short, or basically shortcuts to these particular items here. So you can go directly to these here, or just click on the ones in here. <clears throat> so what first we do is, once we've changed these three colors and unlocked them so that they're not locked, they can be individual. We set ambient to black because we want it to be a dark contrast at the back. Diffuse color, we keep as the gray, and we select. What we need to do, well, firstly, let's change the setting here. We need to have a particle decay or particle age, which is this one here. We select, and in this, we will be changing the colors. First one will be yellow. And we'll give it a value of 10%. Second color will be red. Give that a decay value of 60. The last one we'll create as a dark grey about the same as the background of the window here and we'll leave that at 100% now in these on the yellow we click on here and we give it a noise filter in the noise filter change the color on the top to red and we have the bottom color to yellow in the phases we give it a, a size and phase variance keep it at regular you can change these settings later. Straight away in the window, we can see it alterate, alterations happening there. We come up to the next level. And on the red one, we click on there and we give it a noise as well. And we do the same on this one.
let's take phase of 20. We come out of that. We don't touch the grey because that the grey is a non-existent. Once it gets to grey, you don't see it anymore. So we come out of that. Next one is self-illumination. We highlight and we leave at black. But we give it a particle age as well. Particle age, top one, we say as yellow. And give it a value of 10. Second color, we say is red. A nice vibrant red. And give that a value of 70. And the bottom one, we leave it and we create it as black. And this one we give an, an 80 value. On the yellow, we give it a noise filter. First color, we give it yellow, but a very light yellow, about halfway down the spectrum. Second one, we make yellow again, but we make it a vibrant yellow. And we set the phase, let's say 10 for now, come out. On the red, we repeat what we just done for the yellow by giving it a noise. But on this one, we make the top one red, and then the bottom one is yellow again, and give it a phase of 10. Please note the sizes and phase and variances on these are all customizable to what you are requiring. So don't take these particular settings as default. The colors are what I've set up beforehand, but the phases are your custom settings. So you have to change them according to how you want. And also your noise type, regular, fractal or turbulence, you can experiment with them. So we come out of this one. And we come out of there. So far we have our diffuse and self-illumination set up. Right, the next one is opacity. If I remember correctly. And we leave it at 100 and we give it a particle age. On this one, we leave that as black and give it a value of 10. And we go and give it a noise filter. You can now see on the top, the material is giving a nice look as what we're coming close to. While we in here, no, oops, I made a whoops. Sorry, in this one, I have to change this. Right, it's supposed to be fall off. Okay, 